I need an outlet for those aspects of being a human that don't fit nicely in a, in a mindful lifestyle. <laughs> you know, like being angry and sad and whatever. Those, those places that we all still have. I needed somewhere to put that. And um, dance has just always been this empty vessel for me to go into and pour all that unpleasant stuff into. It doesn't all have to be pretty or um, entertaining. It showed much more dimension of that human experience and I was instantly attracted to it because some of it was very beautiful and still had that like classic line and pretty turn, but there were other elements that were weird and uncomfortable and awkward and kind of scary or gross or all those things and I was super inspired. It just felt like a whole other way of moving and being. So I was hooked <laughs> once I got a little taste. And I decided to add another dance major at that point. I just like got sucked right in. I always feel better after a dance class. I just want to teach that integration. I want to teach being present. You teach about the body and the breath and the mind which is not so easy sometimes. Every time I get a chance to be with a student, that's precious time. I know I don't have much with them. It's up to me to learn how to be really skillful about putting that all in a class. That's why it's important to maintain my own practice, study those brilliant thinkers, and really give it the due time to contemplate how to offer that to my students. And I, I try really hard to do that. I'm in for the long haul. You know, yoga blows my mind because it's a complete system. It doesn't leave anything out. That's really what I had been looking for for so long. I'm a, I'm a mover and I'm a thinker and I'm a spiritual seeker and I wanted something that fit all of those things in. And yoga does that and I, I can't see myself ever not wanting to share that with people, ever. I'm Sarah Clark, and I'm a full-on human being. <laughs>